to the 30th Annual Word of Deliverance Conference 2020. Day 2, Worship Service 5. The theme is Jesus is the answer. We give the Lord Jesus Christ all the praise and glory for blessing us down through the years. My name is Prophet Michael Ferguson and with me in the studio is my wife, Sister Martha. In this worship service, we have a conference in memory review, followed by four great flashback conference songs. 1997, Walk Around Heaven, Abernita Cummings, Michael Ferguson, and Rhonda White. 1993, Twelve Gates to the City, Zula Rentro. 2005, Serving the Lord is Gonna Pay Off After a While, Nathaniel Waters. 1997, I Got a New Walk, Elmer Buddy Flannery. After the flashback conference songs, I will complete my prophetical events study guide teaching with four topics. The new heaven and the new earth. The eternity future. The new Jerusalem. And the perfect age. Thank you, Father, for blessing this worship service. Save, heal, and deliver, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. We give the Lord Jesus Christ all the praise and glory for the many wonderful saints that have been such a tremendous blessing to us and for each individual that has come to the conference to worship, yes, to fellowship, to hear the word of God. We give the Lord the praise for every contribution Amen. that these wonderful saints of God have contributed to the Word of Deliverance Conference over the past 30 years. And we want to do a Word of Deliverance conference in memory review to honor those saints that have already gone on to their heavenly ward, reward that are a part of the great cloud of witnesses that are cheering us on. Amen. Amen. Thank God Praise Jesus God. said, He that liveth and believeth in me shall never die. And the great apostle Paul said, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Gone, but not forgotten. As we call out the names of these individuals that have already deceased, you will notice that some of the names will be in red. That signifies that they passed away during the year 2020. Let us begin. Annie Huffman, Alice Huff, Alice Mack, Angel Ferguson, Anita Bolton, Annette Walton, Annie Brown, Ashley Johnson, Barbara Johnson, Ben Hickman, Betty 
Grisso, Betty Helms, Betty Golden, Beulah Helms, Bobby Peebley, Buddy Helms, Butch Jefferson, Bruce Trent, Carlos Jefferson, Catherine White, Charles Zachary, Chauncey Brooks, Clarence Hill, David Spurlock, Diane Belcher, Don Parker, Doris Stanley, Dorothy Bishop, Duke Franklin, Edna Johnson, Effie Otto, Elmer Flannery, Elsie Jefferson, Eva Mae Cornett, Ernest Call, Ernest Cyber, Fanny Chapman, Freddie Lawson, Florence Mays, Fred Bishop Sr., Grady Simpson, Gwen Sylvester, Herbert Ferguson, Hubert Baker, Inez Bishop, Jasmine Cavan, James Witt, Jim Mills Sr., Jim Stanley, Joey Claiborne, John Davis, Jesse Mays, Joyce Lawson, and Joyce Whitley. Kelly Little, Larry Peters, Lena McGoffney, Lillian Robbins, Lisa Slusher, Lucille King, Lona Van Winkle, Lorraine Hammonds, Lonnie Lynn, Louise Williams, Madeline Simmons, Marie Bishop, Marie McKinley, Marvin Peebley, Mary Edna Cloud, Mary Davis, Mary Jefferson, Mary Mays, Malsina Barksdale, Nelson Sizemore, Norman Cornelius, Park Sailor, Patricia Cloud, Paul Bingham, Pearly Arnett, Peggy Duvall, Phyllis Brown, Robert Beatty, Robert M. Motley, Rose Cloud, Thomas Ellison, Leo Carter, Sadie Cummings, Sarah Hobbs, South Bevins, Teresa Jefferson, Tanya Brock, Vernon Stewart, William Greer, Winston Simmons, Zula Renfro. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for these wonderful people and for the saints of God that have blessed us through the Holy Spirit in the Word of Deliverance Conference. It's such a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful thing the fellowship, the love, the contributions that they have given to the work of the Lord at the conference. And we just magnify and glorify God for these wonderful people. And if we omitted someone, we tried our best over the last 30 years to keep track of those that have gone on that helped us at the conference, attended the conference, and if we left out a name, then 
and we apologize for that. At this time, we are going to have a special video tribute. One, my dad, Herbert Ferguson, will be testifying in one of the past conferences and Pastor Hubert Baker, my pastor, he testified to the people at one of the conferences and you will get to hear him actually speak words of wisdom to the people at one of the past conferences. So at this moment, we're going to do a breakaway for these special video tributes. Of heaven. Two thirds as big as the United States. 
And this has 15 stories, which is a hundred mile apart. Did you hear me? Heaven is a good place. I've got loved ones that have outstripped me, and I want to see them. My Bible says he has so much respect for the dead. But the Bible said when he returns, which I believe will be shortly, he said the dead in Christ shall rise first. That's honor, friend. That's honor. God loves those warriors that have suffered and died. Left us something that we can stand on. I tell you, he's good. I'm so glad to be here this afternoon in the house of the Lord with you. Marie has been a sweet mother to me and her family. I see, I believe I see Donna. There you are. Amen. And her, uh, aren't you, aren't you proud? Aren't you proud? That's what you get when you serve the Lord. He said, I will give you the desires of your heart. God, I live in this seed. And saints, seed that's in the barn or seed that's up here. It not worth anything. It's good. It's good knowledge. Seed has to be sown. It has to, has to be sown in the earth. It has to germinate and die. I cannot understand one little grain of corn. It's just yellow. It's just a grain of corn. Until it drops in the, in the ground. You drop it in the ground. Cover it up. And God does the rest. All He's asking you to do is come to the cross. Surrender your life to Him. Let Him know that you love Him above everything else in this life. And do what you know that you should be doing. Because many is going to strive. But few is going to be in man. I want to make it, don't you? Amen. I want to make it to God's help. I want to make it to God's help. I want to stand on my watch right now. And as the scripture says to us, let us have an ear to hear what the Spirit has to say to the church. God has much to say. We're so overcome with the cares of life and things that's around us that we're unable to hear what the Lord has to say. My God, He loves His children. He suffered and died that you and I might have eternal life. Hallelujah. And if death were to come, it wouldn't bother me one day. I read in Scripture where the Bible said the grave has no victory and death has no sting. My God. Isn't that wonderful? But you know what? I believe in what I understand in the book of Revelation. And then I'll get out of the way. But I'll just, I want to say that I thank the Lord for each of you and these folks from out west. I've been up in that neck of the woods and I honestly thought I would never get through the state of Kansas. <laughs> uh, I had a daughter that lived up in uh, Colorado, up in, uh, in the northern end of it, up there, way up there. And uh, I just give up getting through that stuff. But we finally made it. And, uh, but it's good to get to be in the house of the Lord with you. But saints of God, let's serve. And let's hold on to it. And believe that when this life is over, that we are the generation, if I understand the book of Revelation at all, we're the generation that will see the return of the Messiah. Did you hear me? We're the generation that will see the same return of Messiah. I want to see him now. I want to see him. And I don't believe that I will have to have to go by the way of the world. I honestly believe that with all my heart. Watch again. Do you love him? Yeah. Let's just slip up our hands and thank him because he's been good to us. Yes, he has. Again, we're so, so grateful for these wonderful saints and those that have attended the conference and helped us in any way. We appreciate it. We do. Sister Martha, would you have a comment concerning gone 
but not forgotten. This great Word of Deliverance conference in memory review. I'd just like to say that these saints are thoroughly missed, but you can feel their presence when you're actually there at the conference. You know that they're, you know, you can feel that they're there with you, although they are gone. Because they never leave you. They may not be there in person, but they're there in spirit. The footprint that they left at the conference is still very prevalent in what we do today. Yes. Each year we build upon the last year with God's help. And the labor that these saints contributed, contributed to the conference is still a blessing. Yes, Amen. Amen. Today. And we give God the praise and glory yes, for do. that. And we thank God, God that these wonderful saints are gone, but not forgotten. Amen.
great privilege and honor to speak the word of God to the people. I give the Lord Jesus Christ all the praise and glory for this wonderful opportunity. Father, as your word goes forth, save, heal, and deliver, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. The purpose of my prophetical events study guide is to explain the events and also to place them in chronological order. The new heaven and earth. The entire universe is purged by fire. Revelation chapter 21, verse 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. And there was no more sea. 2 Peter chapter 3, verses 10 through 11. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein, shall be burned up, seeing then, that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? New does not mean destroyed, but cleansed. The universe and earth is not obliterated, but purged by fire. The universe and earth is cleansed from all contamination of sin. The entire universe will have a fresh start. In the eternity past, Jesus spoke a perfect earth and universe into existence. Sin polluted the universe and the earth, beginning with Satan and then with Adam. In eternity future, the universe and earth will have no contamination of sin. There are seven cosmic phases of the earth. The original, the chaotic, the adenic, the anadiluvian, the present earth, the millennial, and the new earth. The eternity future, where time ends, the ages of the ages began. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 7. That in the ages to come, he might shew the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 21. Unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. Time divides eternity past from eternity future. Eternity past ended with time. Time ends with eternity 
future. Eternity future has no end. The new Jerusalem, the main abode of God, and home of the redeemed saints in the eternity future. Revelation chapter 21, verse number 2. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Revelation chapter 21, verse 10. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and shewed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God with the descent of the new Jerusalem the main abode of God moves from the third heaven to earth the size of the new Jerusalem is 1500 square miles wide and high You know, with a population of 106 billion people, which the New Jerusalem will accommodate, there will still be plenty of room left over. If the population in the New Jerusalem was 106 billion people, which is about the total number of people that has been born since Adam to the present time, if all of the people that has been born since Adam lived in the New Jerusalem, 106 billion, there would still be plenty of room. Hallelujah. The New Jerusalem will be the central place of the entire universe. The central place of all the universe. The most beautiful place in the universe. Jesus said, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. Revelation chapters 21 and 22 describes the new Jerusalem in detail. Filled with the glory of God. Twelve gates of pearl. A jasper wall. Twelve foundations of precious stones. Streets of pure gold. God is the temple. God is the light. No night in the city. The gates are never closed. A river, a pure river. The tree of life. The throne of God is in the center of the city. Blessed are they that do His commandments, that they may have the right 
to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. The perfect age. The endless perfect will of God for the creation of God in the dispensation of holiness in the eternity future. The perfect age. Let me say that one more time. The endless perfect will of God for the creation of God in the dispensation of holiness in the eternity future. Revelation chapter 21 verse number 3 through 5 And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying behold the tabernacle of God is with men and he will dwell with them and they shall be his people and God himself shall be with them and be their God and God shall Wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And he that sat on, and he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. The perfect age. There will be total perfection forever. No sin, no death, no sorrow, no pain. The kingdom of God will increase forever. The universe expands at 186,000 miles per second. That's the speed of light. There will always be something new developing in the kingdom of God forever. The mind of God, the imagination of God is endless. There will always be something new developing. Behold, I make all things new. Praise God. The earth will be populated by sinless humanity that came out of the kingdom age. The saints will rule and reign with Jesus forever. Nothing will ever die. No goodbyes. Only hellos. Everything is permanent. Total joy and peace. Let me review from my Bible Prophecy Today study guide. We are in the present age, the times of the Gentiles, the last days, the dispensation of grace, the church age, Israel's time of spiritual darkness, the fullness of the Gentiles, 
and the latter times. Now, let me review from my prophetical events study guide. These are 12 great prophetical events contained in the Word of God that will come to pass. And I have these in chronological order. The rapture, the seven year tribulation period, the second coming, the battle of Armageddon, the kingdom age, the final war, the great white throne judgment, the dispensation of the fullness of times, the new heaven and the new earth, the eternity future, the new Jerusalem, and the perfect age. I give Jesus all the praise for the Word of God going forth for such a time as this. Today is the day of salvation. No matter what your need may be, Jesus saves, heals, and delivers. If you need salvation, believe that Jesus is the Son of God, died for your sins, and was resurrected. Now, while the Holy Spirit is drawing you, pray and ask Jesus to forgive your sins. Come into your heart and be your Lord and Savior. Father, I believe with those that are praying for salvation, healing, and deliverance. Thank you, Father, for answering these prayers. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. We want to fellowship with you. Our mailing address is Prophet Michael and Martha Ferguson, P.O. Box 11, Pineville, Kentucky, 40977. Again, that is Prophet Michael and Martha Ferguson, P.O. Box 11, Pineville, Kentucky, 40977. In day two, worship service six, the minister will be teacher Debbie King. Father, thank you for this great worship service and blessings upon the conference. These things I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for watching the Word of Deliverance Conference 2020.